just got off the ship in so Sitka, Alaska to today, and now the guide the started talking, but we're on scenic Sitka by motor coach. And as you can see, we're on a motor coach. Now, the ship stopped down at Halibut, or up at Halibut, and the ship stopped at Halibut Point. Sitka's actually five miles from here, so we're going to take a drive down the coast to scenic Sitka. We got some late people. So and now this is downtown again, Sitka. And then in 1804, the Russians did take over, and they did take over the land here that is now downtown Sitka, and then it got converted into the kind of city. Took us about 10 minutes Russians to get here from the, the where the ship is at Halibut Point. A bit down. They have restrooms. The shuttle bus from the ship drops you off right there now, at the so library. In front of us. You can just barely but see we're on a tour, here. so we're going to go really see cool some stuff. There's a really bridge in front of us that cable station for the purchase of Alaska's help. So Alaska that's Baranoff Castle the or Fort up, up there. For the very first time. You can walk There's around up there if you're on that's foot. That's where Alaska did become a state. And then coming up on our left-hand side is another one of the harbors here. Bridge out there. Now, you might notice there are a good number He's of boats loud. there. And it's not because the fishermen are having a day off. Those are the out-of-season types of boats. So most boats are specialized to catch different types of fish. And so mainly what they're using right now are the salmon catching boats. Mm -hmm. They're also um, born and raised here in Alaska. They can go there to retire, which is really cool. We're currently going through downtown Sitka. It is pretty small. If you blink too much, you will miss it. But the majority of the shops are on our right and left-hand side here. And directly in front of us, that is St. Michael's Cathedral. That is a really, really cool building there. And if you do want to go to it later today, they do charge a small fee to go inside. But it has the oldest artifacts here in Sitka. Some of the oldest ones date back to about the 1500s. And yeah. so that church there is very cool. It was actually a recreation of the original one. The original did burn down in about the 60s. As you can see, a lot of the homes oh, here, are the, the businesses here, are very close together. And so the churches, uh, the building here, when the, the building burned down, it did catch the church on fire. But they were able to save all of the original, all of the original artifacts from the church when it started to burn down. They formed a fire brigade that came out. And one of their biggest claims for a miracle for that church is that when they installed so the chandelier in the center Cathedral. of that church, it took eight men to be able to put it in place. Now I think we're going to head over to the totem fire, park it only took three men on the other side of town. The and, take it out. and they do still have uh, services in there today. Hobbs and and Hobbs and the uh, Russian Orthodox, at least here in Sitka, all of their, um, all of their ceremonies was for the NATO and uh, Clinkets in the area. They did teach the, the Clinkets here how to read and write. That specific school. high school. And then coming up on our left hand side is another really cool church. This uh, red building here to our left with the weather worn roof and the cobblestone bottom. That church there to our left hand side, that is called the uh, St. Peter's Episcopal Church by the Sea. And so that is a really cool church. It has a really fun story. And so that church was, they started building it shortly after the United States had purchased Alaska. So around 1867, 1868 is when they started the building and plans for that church. Hi, Sean. Oh. That's Sean, our guide. <laughs> so we're at the Sitka Historic Park again. You can see it in my video, walking in Sitka, what to do on your day in port. Um, last time we were here, the berries weren't ripe yet. Now they're all gone. But we're gonna look at a bunch of totem poles. There's a museum here. I think it's free. I don't think we paid last time. In the other video we walked through the museum and there's some carvers in there and stuff working. But there's all these totem poles and one thing about their totem poles is they're all, they're all one-sided. You see that? They're all one-sided for some reason. I don't know if that's a normal totem pole or what. But they all seem to be one-sided.
this is the Sitka National Historical Park. Um, that's where we got off the bus and we looked at those totems and there's totems everywhere. And as you go through the forest, there's trails, totems there. I mentioned they have people doing crafts. This is today's schedule. Of course, it's after one, so Ranger's Choice. Or maybe Marine Mammals, or maybe that's it. I don't know. There's another totem. In our other Sitka video, we walked down this trail, walked all the way around, and came back. Took us less than an hour. Of course, there were other trails you could take, but we walked all the way over to where the uh, Raptor Center is. It's straight through there. And there's, you know, mini trails through there. And mini tourists, too. And there's a bald eagle. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> so here's a totem. And that's a camera, I believe. Let's have a close-up look. So, I'd say this is 30 feet tall, maybe. Like I said, all the ones around here are only one side. They're not round poles. I don't know if they last longer that way or what. This guy, I don't know. He looks like he's being born, but I'm not sure. And way up there is the beak of an eagle. That's an eagle. So. And then there's a trail off that way, trail off this way, and they're uh, marked fairly well. And you have these uh, signs that tell you what things are. here. It takes 30 to 45 minutes, it says, to go all the way around. The bridge is right there and the Raptor Center is over there. So, that's what we did last time. They have these fancy trash cans that are bear proof. Eh, they're Gareth proof too. And they have these in case you brought one of those. And so they're nice wide trails. They're gravelly and barkish. And of course you have this beautiful thick forest here. some areas, this area is not full of undergrowth, but when you get deep in there, it's just solid ferns and plants all over the floor of the forest. You see these little red berries this time? I didn't see them before, but like I said, the berry bushes, the berries were still yellow. And now, of course, they're uh, gone. So they ripened and got eaten, I guess. We came from down there. The museum is down there. We've been walking along the seashore here, sort of. I mean, it's trees mostly, and then it breaks an opening like this. And you can walk down there. There's not much to see down there. That's the city. I remember earlier, I aimed the camera at, towards that bridge. You can see the steeple of St. Michael's there. Or not. I can see it. You can see Janet there. 
posing in front of a uh, totem. Uh, online places you can see what some of these are called, maybe all of them, but you can see there's two more down here and more people. Oh, well here it says which ones these are. Raven Shark, Trader Legend, and Yadis Crest Corner Pole. Now I've been told that these are replicas. These are not the originals. But I think I'm going to take this log. No, I don't think so. I'll just leave it there. That guy looks like he's coming out of that guy's mouth. There's a nice forest. It's a nice walk. It's brisk right now, but it is not raining. Although it did rain all morning, I believe. Hear the birds? I think that's the sound a bald eagle makes, isn't it? But I don't know. That's the sound of a raven. So it's a nice walk if you go the whole way. Like the sign says, 30, 45 minutes, depends on how much you stop to take pictures. If you come to a fork in the road, you could choose to take the path less traveled. So the Beachview Trail, I think that's the way we went last time, or the Kicksaddy Fort site. There's a clearing there in the forest where there was a fort where the uh, natives made their last stand. And um, I think they were defeated. So we took the trail towards the fort where there are several more totems and people. The water's out there. Of course the ocean view trail or whatever it's called goes along the edge there. This oops, is the site of the fort. Somewhere around here they, you know, had log walls and made their stand against the Russians, I believe. Here's a sign about it. I knew it was here. return. It's a fort. Where we're at. Well, it's after 1.30, so we're going to head back to the museum and the bus. There's those birds again. Whatever they are. Of course, I can't see anything but trees and little red berries. And I think the idea now of our tour is the bus is just going to take us back to the ship. So it's a very short tour. But it was included in the price of the cruise, so we took it.
That's our shuttle bus leaving, our tour bus leaving, and right there is a shuttle bus. And the shuttles are every 15 minutes and they're free back to the ship, so we're going to look around here a little bit in downtown Sitka and then come back over here and grab a shuttle back to the ship. Here's the library in Centennial Hall. The shuttle buses are, they come right over there. And this is St. Michael's. Russian Orthodox Church. Uh, you can see the very top. And there's stores and restaurants around it. And I guess this is the Lutheran Church here. And it's 2.15. Or so the church says. Here's the totem, Ben Franklin store, museum quality blue-eyed bears, native art, another giant bear. More church, more steeple. Say hi to this guy when you're here. Hey, hey buddy, yeah. Alright. Port monkeys out. Bye.